In today's video, we have our Team of the Week 5 predictions and investments. Now, Team of the Week 5 isn't the most meta Team of the Week that we've ever gotten. However, it's not a bad thing because this Team of the Week could potentially make us a lot of coins, especially after the crazy Team of the Week 4 kind of market that we saw. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Let's aim for 50 likes on the video. And of course, if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 5K on YouTube. Can we please hit that by Halloween? So guys, wasting no time, we are going to hop right into it. And our first guy for Team of the Week is Erling Haaland. He had two goals over the weekend, a pretty solid display from him. Now, I think EA are going to include either him or maybe either Mbappe in. Uh, because we have a pretty weak team of the week, as I was saying, uh, and usually with a dead team of the week, they do tend to throw in a few players who maybe didn't play great, and I do think Haaland will end up being the one, because he isn't going to be super meta because of his weak foot and skill moves, uh, but he could get in. He had a good week. Next up, we have Yuri Tielemans, and Tielemans, guys, I mean, we all saw that Manchester United game. Uh, an absolute brilliant game to watch and Tielemans played a big role in it. He won man of the match and had a goal as well. A really good goal. And usually after a big game like that where, you know, a lot of people are paying attention to it, EA always throw in a team of the week. And I do think Tielemans is the lesser player that gets it. Next up, we have Edward Mendy. And I mean, he had an absolute brilliant game against Brentford, keeping a clean sheet and having a bunch of saves. It also helped that really no other Chelsea player played as good as he did. Uh, Mendy de definitely deserves a team of the week card. And I 100% can confirm that this will be the goalkeeper for sure. Next up, we have Denier here, and he actually got a special card last year early on in FIFA, and I do think he gets a team of the week. He had a goal and a clean sheet this week uh, for Lyon, and I think he's going to have an absolute nasty card. 86 pace, 85 defending, 85 physical or thereabouts. He is going from 80 to 83 rated, so he is going to get a pretty big stats boost in that pace, defense, and physicality stat. Uh, this is a card I'm definitely looking out for because he'll be a very nice kind of cheap meta card to use in game. Next up, we have Serge Gnabry here, and I'm going to give it to Gnabry for two goals. Bayern obviously had a huge win against Leverkusen. I mean, they went up 5-0 within like 39 minutes, and then they didn't end up scoring in the second half. However, Lewandowski also had two goals, uh, but I do think they're going to end up giving it to Gnabry. I think with someone like Lewandowski, uh, they, they know Lewandowski is going to be one that ends up scoring a lot of goals. Uh, so I do think they actually end up giving this one to Gnabry. Uh, they both played pretty good. Uh, I actually do think Gnabry won man of the match in that match as well. So that probably gives him just a slight edge over him. Next up, we have Harry Kane. And finally, he's done something this season. He had a goal and an assist in a game that really could have went the other way. I mean, Newcastle scored really early and that place was absolutely electric with the new ownership takeover and everything. Uh, it was a it was a crazy start to the game, uh, but uh, Tottenham got down to business. Harry Kane had a goal and assist, and I believe he won man of the match as well. Uh, and because he hasn't done anything yet this season, and who knows what Spurs will do. I mean, they are probably the most inconsistent team in the Premier League right now. Uh, you know, I do think EA will throw Harry Kane a nice team of the week in form uh, for this display this week. And finally, from our, you know, big players, you know, you guys know I don't like to do predictions on the crappy players, just the ones that will really matter to the market. We have Bobby Firmino. Bobby Firmino going from an 85 to an 86. He had three goals and one assist in an incredible game for Liverpool. Uh, I saw some predictions showing Salah to get it. Bobby had a hat trick, guys. Come on now. But like I said, guys, this is pretty much it. We don't have a huge, huge selection of meta meta cards. There might not be much demand for that weekend league kind of rewards uh, as next weekend. We, we don't have a team of the week that is as good as the one we have right now. Uh, and the next one obviously won't be that great, but there's still a few decent cards that will come in and, and could be good. But I mean, the really, really the only one that maybe you could throw in your teams is Edward Mendy. It's nothing crazy. So now that we're through the predictions, let's talk investments now. Uh, with that new team of the week coming out, it is actually very enticing. There are a lot of decent cards uh, that I think are going to come onto the market. Now, as far as investing for this team of the week to come out, I think it's probably an avoid this week, especially when this video comes out. Cards like Firmino, for some reason, have inflated so much, and I just think there's so much overinvestment now in these cards that could potentially get in Team of the Week. For example, we saw Firmino's card literally go from 4K up to like 7 or 8K, 
And I just don't know if this really could rise much more. I mean, let's be real. Firmino's stats in game right here, they're not really great. I mean, he's got five star skills, but there's nothing really superb about his card this year. So it's not like him leaving packs is really going to do anything to the market or his card's price. Uh, so if you are currently invested in Firmino and you are invested in some of these cards we're going to go over, uh, definitely look to sell beforehand. Now, if you guys are looking to buy some of them, I'm going to just put it quite simply. Uh, don't buy these cards. Buy the cards we're going to talk about after uh, in a few minutes. Those are going to be the cards that you guys are going to buy. But like cards like this, um, there's just no point in investing. I'm like 80 rated denier. Yeah, his team of the week card is going to be good. And yes, this is going to be out of packs. But there's just not going to be much demand for it. And you can see here he went from like 1k to 1.8. There's no point. These cards are already inflated up. If you were to buy in at the time that they, you know, had their good game or whatever, yeah, you guys can make some good profit. But as of right now, it really just, it's not worth it in my opinion. The only cards that maybe would be decent are some of these high rated ones. But even then, like Harry Kane, he's already gone up like 7k. So like, it's like you, you guys have kind of missed the boat on it. Uh, maybe if we got a good SBC, Harry Kane would have been a good one to pick up because he would be out of packs. But even then, I don't think we're going to get a crazy SBC to come out. Now, there are a few cards that I do like for the pickup, and we're going to kind of switch gears to the current team of the week. And it's a lot of these team of the week four cards. We got this week a lot of supply on them. The reason why we got a lot of supply is because of that no loss glitch. No one really wants to talk about it, but the no loss glitch saw a lot of people get team of the week packs. A lot of people that normally don't get as many team of the week packs. And we saw a ton of supply come on the market. We saw prices completely get killed. I mean, you're looking at an 86 rated that's at 15K right now. 85 rated at 12K right now. Uh, Rafinha went from 100K down to 40K. Mane is 600K now. He was like a mil uh, before this weekend. And even Muller, he's down to 22K and a half. So a lot of these cards I like as investments, a lot of them. Um, first off, a lot of the fodder ones I think are must pickups, and, and you guys can literally invest in these now if you want to, or just pick up one of each, store them in your club, they'll be up a, a good amount in like a two weeks. Now, right here, 15k for 86 rated inform, that's a great steal of a price, this card could be 30k by, you know, when once we start getting some SBCs rolling, especially with Road to the Knockouts out and stuff, uh, this card will be one that rises up, and you guys could literally double your coins. Uh, tomorrow's video, Monday video, uh, you guys will see, I actually am going to mention some of these again too, uh, but these ones are just no risk, safe investments you guys can literally double your coins on. Muller as well, 88 rated, this is way too cheap for this card. If you guys can snipe him for like under 20k, I think this is a great buy, you will make a ton of coins on him. Bastoni as well, he's 85 rated, if you guys can get him at 11k, that is a steal. He will be 20k, no doubt, once we get some decent SBCs in this game, for sure. And even Keeler Navas, I think 89 rated, this card could be one that sits at like 40, 45k. Not to mention, he is a PSG player, uh, so, you know, he does have good stats. He does have uh, that goalkeeper long throw, which I think, you know, throwing the ball is pretty important in-game. Uh, and he's not a bad shout for people who are using Kimpembe and stuff in, the, in their teams. Uh, so, I think Keeler Navas is one that does rise when he goes out of packs too. Now these cards have come down so much because there's so much supply on the market. Once the supply is kind of turned off and we do end up getting some SBCs and people are submitting these informs in, these prices will go up quite a bit. So I definitely would look to pick some of these fodder cards up for sure. Now as far as the meta ones go, and I don't know exactly what the supply is on Xbox and PlayStation right now. I haven't been able to kind of get on and take a look, especially on PlayStation because I don't own a PlayStation, uh, but I, I can see there's going to be a lot of supply on this Mane because of how low he is. Usually an out of position card would be a little bit higher, especially uh, with the likes of Mane being 90 rated at cam too for Liverpool. Like that is a huge card upgrade uh, with four star, four star too. But we saw his price, you know, he consistently came down all week and he kind of flattened out here. I wouldn't be surprised as he goes out of packs to see him rise up maybe on Xbox up to 750-ish K, over 800k on PlayStation eventually. Uh, I do think that Mane is a card that does rise up out of packs and if you're willing to risk that or maybe you want to throw him in your team maybe and use him kind of as an investment team, you know, use him for a few weeks, his price goes up and you guys can sell, I, I think that's a good shout. Now if all you have is 700k or whatever. 
I wouldn't go all in on Amane, but if you have spare coins, maybe you want to use him in your team. He's not a bad shout for you guys to kind of use. Uh, Tio Hernandez is one that is... He's one of the only few cards that has really held his price throughout all the supply, and I think that's just due to a lot of demand. Uh, yeah, he's come down from like 200k or so, but uh, you know he he still holding a pretty solid price, and I think this card's gonna be one that fluctuates quite a bit on both consoles. I think he's a good pickup. Uh, a lot of people want to use him in their teams, and you know with the 84 being about 75k on PlayStation, still 60k on Xbox, uh, it makes sense. Uh, so I definitely do see. Theo Hernandez being one that fluctuates a lot, and maybe on Xbox is a good shout to pick him up. Uh, I think he could hit 200k, and even on PlayStation, you know, he, he'll go back up to like 210, 215. Uh, as of me making this video, it'll be out pretty soon too. So, you know, if you're seeing this, it might not be a bad shout to pick him up here on a Sunday night, because I don't really see too much more supply coming this week, aside from maybe UCL marquee matchups for these Team of the Week cards. But then again, uh, I do recommend that you guys check out my UCL video. Um, I'll put it in the top right or whatever. Uh, because if we do end up getting a those UCL base cards, which it looks likely there was a leak going around that we were, uh, there's a good chance the market could take another dip. So with cards like this, you do have to be careful because if something sudden comes again, like a random no loss glitch or something crazy out of nowhere, uh, you could see the market go down. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I know it wasn't super meta uh, as far as Team of the Week goes, and, and the investments were not as great, uh, but we got a pretty crap Team of the Week. But with those Team of the Weeks that are currently in packs, if you guys invest in some of those heading into them going out of packs, you guys could really make a lot of coins from them. I'm serious. Uh, so definitely take a look in them, especially those fodder ones. Just store one, one of each in your club. You'll make a ton of coins very, very fast. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your support. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. We're looking to hit that 5K very, very soon. Until next time, peace.